Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. That's it. Keep moving. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Well now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. That's for a bad idea. Going to have words with your commanding officer after this. Why do they call it a monorail? It's a train. Yeah, a have train. A train. What? So we leaving already? Come on, come on. Looking to lose a few caps, huh? Just the place. I swear the monorail was just ahead. Somewhere. Ooh, so fucked up, I can't feel my legs. Don't give us any trouble now. You like it, huh? Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. You might. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Take a look at these beauties. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress?
Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you! What can I do for you today? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I guess I just do as I'm told. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow! The other thing you're going to need is the Platinum Chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew she was carrying the Platinum Chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? I know that's not true, because you still have a head. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now.
Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Sorry if that was getting boring. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. Neat. Let me know what you find out. I'll be waiting right here. Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. That's right. Like I said, it's probably pretty important because it has non-standard hardware, just like the Lucky 38. The data on that platinum chip is a big secret, unless you can find a dedicated reader to decode it. Isn't that frustrating? I have to admire your prudent nature. Why get caught up in action, you know? And results? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Of course, ask away. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion or NCR though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. You set the pace. Anything else I can help with? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something because he said they always are. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else I can help with? 
From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? Some of Mr. House's data said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. No rush, take your time. Anything else I can help with? What should we talk about next? Come back later if you need anything. Wow, Mr. House is looking for you, huh? What do you think he wants? Bowling partner? This better not be about the meaning of life. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people. Even if it's from themselves, it's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, treat all our practices with the same sacredness. Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah. They'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. 
And there were other ways he wanted to push other weapons, ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Let's. I got a pressure in me like Hoover Dam. Your lady friend seems out of place here. Idiots are giving us a bad name. Just lost a month's caps. Hey, sexy lady. Looking for a good time? It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? They really care about your privacy here at the Tops. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? So I hear Mr. House runs the strip. He took it over from the last guy, Mr. Mob-infested hellhole. Did he just say that? Hey, what about that suit Benny wears? If I had a suit like that, the ladies would be all over me. What, you expect a punchline? The guy pays my salary, it's true! My cousin and his wife are a fastidious couple. She's fast, and he's hideous, ha-cha-cha! -cha. I hear James Garrett drove 5,000 head of Brahmin to New Reno. No bodies, just the heads! I had dinner at the Ultra Lux the other night. I told them my steak tastes funny. They said it was a clown. I ate a person. My wife and I know the secret to a happy marriage. Two times a week, we go to a nice restaurant. He goes Monday, I go Friday. Damn slots of robbery. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. 
The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Have a good time, baby. Ring-a-ding, baby. Keep those hands where I can see them. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves like smooth little babies. You making a pass at me, sister? Because I'm out of your league. Did those bullets scramble your egg? Or have you always been a naughty broad? You're one sick pussycat, baby. There's Quinns, and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. I hear dig from you, babe, and all I can think of is a shovel. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something... wrong. All right, honey baby. This is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. Thirteenth floor. Don't keep me waiting. Keep those hands where I can see them. Keep those hands where I can see them. Don't get too close to Mr. Bennett. Evening.
Benny's gonna show you the tops. I hope you're built sturdy, you crazy broad. The time for talk has passed, honey baby. These mouths of ours have appointments to be elsewhere. More than you ever dream, baby. You're platinum, pussycat. You know how to swing. Nice Charlies, too. Give him a shake for the Ben man, will you? Hello. Oh, that was a nice bit of hey hey, girly. You're a real ring a ding broad. Hold me, will you? I swear you wore me out. Mm -mm -mm. Huh? <laughs> 